Hello and welcome to this introduction in setting up your own free radio station. To do this you need to pop along to a website called www.freeshoutcast.com and Free Shoutcast offer a service where you can actually set up your own stream for free you have a basic service. So if we scroll down you'll actually see an option here for free it'll say free 64 kbps the listeners, you're allowed a limit of 100 listeners. The bitrate is 64 kilobits only. There's no auto DJ, which means that when you finish your show, you might want to keep replaying the podcast that you've just done or the show that you've just done. Auto DJ is not available on this package option because this is free. Bandwidth unlimited. Um, mount point uptime. They're uh, going to be random. And obviously, there's a few other options there that are not available on the free option. But for the fact that it is free, is actually uh, you do get a great service from this. We've been using this for quite a while now, and we are planning to actually upgrade to a paid-for service. If this is your first time using a radio station service, this is the best way to actually test the service and to test your settings and your system to make sure everything's working before you spend any money and actually go in and start using a, a proper stream service. As you can see, Free Shoutcast offer multiple different packages depending on what your needs are. So for the top package there, the best package, that would be really for organised professional radio stations all the way down to obviously a, a cheapest starter package just to get you started. But getting the options of web player and auto DJ and a few other facilities that you do not get on the free service. What you need to do to actually set this up is to actually set up a brand new account. So if you go to control panel, it will ask you to log in. But if you're a new user, up here to the left is an option to say register. So if you click on the register button. Okay, so you want to set up a new account. We'll just call this test test radio. We type in the actual username. The password, we'll confirm the password. The email address that you want people to be able to contact you with. Your phone number, if you want to put that in. Name and your surname, your data, your age, I should say, and your web address. A lot of radio stations have a website. So the best way to do this is to embed the script code into your website. So when your listeners want to come along and listen to your show, they can just click on a player and it'll actually play. Now what we'll do is later on when we get in here, we'll show you a, a, a website. There's a lot of websites out there that will allow you to input the player information and it'll generate code to give you a player option but we'll have a look at that shortly so we won't type in a web address here at the moment we we'll just go in and register right so we've got we've gone in and we have a new account and at the moment it's telling us that it's a free account the amount of listeners the bit rate and the price of the actual um, the service that we have now what we'll do is we'll have a look at the moment there's there's nothing on we just literally just set up the account uh, it says here free shoutcast service is for a period of one year 365 days okay so we're going to select to take that the service plan here is says free so we'll take that Okay, so this tells us that the account test test radio and server was created successfully. The port number we'll be using and we if we need to go to the configuration screen we can click there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the options on the left hand side to see what this gives us. So first of all we'll go to the dashboard. And the dashboard tells us that the server is currently off and the server's down and also tells us the amount of users, the amount of listeners that are going to be listening in when you are doing a live show. Also tells us here that the actual port number that you need to be using. If we go up to your shoutcast, 
what we have here is again it tells us the address the host address that we need to type into our encoder the port base the actual port number need to use and the, the this is a a generated password which you can change now you can listen to the show clicking here and you can manage the information if you go into manage you'll actually be able to change the password and change a few details there and you can start and stop the actual stream itself by clicking on these buttons here and if you start the stream you'll get an advert coming up and it'll just take a few seconds and then the actual stream will start okay so the actual server is now started and if we go back into dashboard we should see an option to that tells us that the server is on now that's shown us that the server is on so the actual stream has be act been activated but the source is off so the encoder has not been switched on the encoder that you would use in software like Winamp or Sam Broadcaster or similar software like that now if you want to actually switch off the stream again you go back into your shoutcast and you go into stop and that will actually stop the stream now also we talked about auto DJ auto DJ is an option that you won't have on the free account with fastcast you'd have to upgrade to get the auto DJ there is an option to do a stream rip so if you are actually going to record your show you can actually start recording your show and keep a record of it and you can see that you have the name of the radio station the port that it's um, on and obviously the mp3 file that what will be named and you can actually change that name of the mp3 file obviously we have web player option as well and the web player will be able to is where you can actually pop along and listen to the show if you don't have a website but you want people to listen you can actually type in uh, your link here your test test radio dot com, and you could actually send it to your to people that you want to listen to the show and they'll be able to tune in on this address now the code snippets are basically these are just l t links that you can use to actually give to your friends and family and listeners or people that want to listen into the show and you can send them these links and they'll be able to tune in and listen on and this iPhone, Winamp, Windows Media Player, Real Player and QuickTime. Now we're looking at the stream detail scripts. Okay, and these are scripts that you can also use and embed on your website to tell you whether the server is on or off. And the amount of listeners and various information like that that you can have on your website now what you can do is obviously if you have a website you can embed a player in your website which makes life a lot easier for everybody there are a number of websites out there that offer this service where you can actually type in your information here this is a free shoutcast flash player and if you go down here you'll see a number of different players that you could embed on your website and basically what you do is you get the relevant information we go back to free showcast here and the information you need is this information here so you need your your host address and your port number and basically what you do is you type it in you type in your stream address there following the the, the requirements that they are, they ask you here type in your stream address and any of the details stream name and obviously the whichever one that you select down here there's there's stock blue there's simple so you can use and you can have a welcome message on your on your player and different options there and when you're happy with the information you can click on generate code and then you take that code and then you paste it into your website and that is your player that people can use so I would recommend people doing this if you have a website because it's a lot easier for your listeners they just have to go to your website and, and press play to listen to but if you don't have a website free shoutcast actually give you the code snippets to enable you to tune in and listen to the actual show your show that you're broadcasting and all the information is there in your free snippet there when you're actually finished 
then what you do is um, up on the top right hand side there, there is a logout option here which is obviously not on the screen at the moment but there is a logout option there and you can just log out of the screen and that's basically how you you access and set up an account with Fastcast and then you log out and that's it and then from then on when you go to the actual website when you actually go to the website when you go to control panel because you have an account set up you will just need to log in to your radio station and then get the details from there you can also check to see how many listeners are live as well with this which is quite good okay that's the introduction to setting up a basic free radio service online using flash player code to embed into your website we hope that's helpful to you and we hope you have great fun using it